Spring 10, year one. Anything else? The Queen of Sauce is a rerun, so it's stir fry. So yeah, you don't catch the Queen of Sauce on Sunday. You have Wednesday to get that recipe. Otherwise, it just blows by, right by you, and you have two years to... You know, this stuff might be useful for something. We got 10 rice shoots here. I think we said we wanted to grow that today, so I am going to do that for sure. Uh, anything crazy crap like this, I'll just put in here. I'll carry my coal with me, too. Uh, because when I when I catch a fish and I put it in the smoker, that's a good thing to do. Oh, some mail. Wow, 500 bucks. Love dad. <laughs> dad, you are pretty swell. Uh, can't argue with 500 free smackaroonies. Uh, but I can't argue with no rain so that I have to water all my crops. I want to be a lazy farmer. I want to build sprinklers. That should... Oh, and I got to re-hoe the ground even. I don't think I've actually grown parsnips in a few days, so yeah, that's a little bit... There we go. And then we want to grow my rice by the water. Let's go ahead and uh, scythe out a little path here. Um, How many rows can we get going here? I think I have room for 10 rows, actually. One, uh, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... Uh, I want to face down, please. Thank you. Nine, ten. Okay, so I'm gonna plant my rice shoots. I've never, I've never grown rice in the game before, actually. So that's a little bit new and interesting for me. Yeah, go ahead and get it watered. Do I, do I need to do that? It looks like it's pretty watery all on its own. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that anyway. I'm not sure it needs the extra help, but. Yeah, it looks like it's just doing what it's supposed to. Doing what it do. So, yeah, everything watered. What to do on a Wednesday? Not go to the shop because it's closed. Pierre is closed on a Wednesday. So I think I'm going to go down and do some, perhaps, deforesting. We can grab some spring onions for food and just cut down trees all day long because we are going to need some wood and stone here pretty soon we need stone we need a better pickaxe to cut away these big pieces of stone but we'll also want to spend less energy you know actually cutting things down so an axe would be a good idea too uh a regular axe and a pickaxe so and if i luck out and find a daffodil down here today that would be pretty swell too but i'm just gonna kind of pick up some snacks for yeah here we go these should help me out. These should give me some some pretty basic nutrition. And they'll make my breath smell great for Haley. Cause I know she cares about that kind of thing. Okay, that's all the that's all the spring onions you're gonna give me. Alright, good. Let's get to cut. Yep, take some take some hacking to get away at that. Oh man, that is slow. You can cut the stumps too, right? Yeah, for some extra for some extra grease. Okay, I have sap. Sap is important. Sap is going to be good for fertilizing crops. So I can't buy any seeds with Pierre today. And I only have, I think, energy to cut down. But a few trees. So yeah, I'm going to have to get eaten. Okay, yeah, that's getting some of the way there. Yes, we're going to eat the spring onion raw. I mean, that's giving us a little bit of a lift. It's good as far as I'm concerned. And I'm not really selling these for a whole lot, so might as well get the energy boost from them, am I right? Yep, just keep on snacking, keep on crunching. As long as they stay crunchy, I will take them for their nutrition. So all right, yeah, let's 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 cut down trees until we're pretty low on energy. And then we'll find something to do wandering around, like maybe maybe foraging. This may clear out some stuff. Okay, that's pretty much free, right? Okay, I can't cut down that stump at all. Just, just stumps from trees that I have cut myself. Man, that is a lot of cutting. That is a lot of energy being wasted. But it's also a lot of wood and sap being collected. You do need to take at least one day out of your life to do that. 
in this game and this is the area to do it i like for my i like for my farm to be relatively untouched but you know you do need to clear it out eventually but also if you clear it out too fast it's hard to get wood and sap later it's a very tricky balancing act i find but to me this is the place to go this is the place to go to cut down things here we go maybe i can go to gus's and get something for energy yeah i can just i can go to the diner i can be like anybody else it's probably probably really good to be social so when i get super tired i'll just go to gus's i'll have a pizza some some beer who says farmers can't aren't just like everyone else us magazine celebrity farmers they're just like us Okay, yeah, I'm getting real, real tired here. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, yeah. That's probably as low as I can get before real exhaustion sets in. So, what is this? Only a master of the five ways may enter. That seems new for this update. I don't remember being a master of any ways before. Well, I guess I'm going to have to, like, learn judo or something? I have no idea. Really? Really, Leah? This is what's got you down today? I mean, yeah. Bugs are good for us. Bugs are good for the ecosystem. But, you know, it doesn't have to make you sad. What the? <laughs> I've never seen such a thing. Did I, did that go into my inventory? It's a garbage can lid. Upcycled into a hat. Uh, can I, can I wear it? Can somebody else take it? That was... I did not expect your trash to blow up, Jody. Are you just throwing dynamite into the trash? What the? What in the nine hells was that? That was insane. Okay, let's make sure Gus doesn't have free food before I go buy food from him. As much as I hate to use my hard-earned money to get stuff from there. Oh, hey, Lewis, what's up? A strong cup of tea in the morning. Oh, today is Vincent's birthday. Uh, is there anything I can get him easily to make him have a happy birthday? Let's see. Well, all the stuff he likes is stuff I would give to Haley. So have a crappy birthday instead, Vincent. Sorry, I got to concentrate on winning my girl's heart. Uh, okay, let's see about energy from these things. Pizza, lots of energy. And then speed for a minute and 24 seconds with coffee. And then I can also buy recipes. That's probably very useful. Potato and oil, egg and milk yeah this is actually really good to know so i can make my own pizza wheat flour tomato and cheese that's probably much cheaper than buying pizza from gus but that's kind of how it goes isn't it if you spend money on something ooh. okay that's a lot of energy and it's very cheap and i'm not really fighting monsters but that's that's less than pizza, and it gives me more energy and health. I will take an eggplant parmesan, Gus. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, and I might buy a few of these recipes at a time also. Potato and oil. If I'm just out here growing potatoes. Yeah, I can, I can make my own food. Buy some oil. Sure, sure, I'll take a couple of recipes. The more recipes I can get from Gus, the better. Because if I'm making... Egg and milk especially. Egg and milk are very easy to get once you have cows and chickens. So what else? Wheat flour and egg, wheat flour for just bread. Yeah, and plus two foraging. Wow, yeah. Might be actually worthwhile to spend our money on some of these recipes. Triple shot espresso, three coffees. It's more potent than regular coffee, but that is an expensive recipe. And I'm not necessarily interested in faster transportation at this point i you know i make my peace with that early on we get a horse later and that'll be awesome but let's see one corn it takes one corn to make a tortilla sure why not uh wheat flour i think i can get from old guy yeah a few recipes to start out probably not so bad salad is also a good cheap health option so i'm gonna take a salad as well then take a salad, grab some food. It might not be a bad idea to grab some food every day uh, while I'm doing while I'm doing the wood, the wood gathering thing. 
Let's see. That that will get me up where? How how much will that fill me up? Nearly all the way. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's fabulous. That gives me a whole other I could probably do the rest of the day on that, honestly. Uh anything in the in the field? Anything new? Oh, well, another dandelion. Another dandelion, no daffodils. This game seems to hate growing daffodils. Does not seem to want me to have a successful relationship with a certain blonde woman. But, you know, if that's the way the game's going to be, then that's the way the game's going to be, I guess. All right, that's all the cutting I think I can stand to do in a day. Also, I don't think I've watered the kitty in a while. <laughs> uh, that, that always makes me feel like a heel. The kitty should have something to drink. I don't know how much that actually affects the kitty's love for you, but I feel like it's pretty significant. Uh, let's go ahead and put up the things we got. We can actually make some field snacks uh, if we... No, go away, garbage hat. I still have no idea what the heck is up with you. Um, but we can put the wood away. We've almost got enough wood. We're about two-thirds of the way for having enough wood for Robin to upgrade some things around the house, which is very important. So we're going to turn this uh, into fertilizer because that's all you need to do with sap is turn it into fertilizer. I can't think of many other uses for it. I'm just going to put it away in my chest where it can be used later. And let's go ahead and get field snacks into place i should be able to one two three four five those are pretty handy dandy um 45 and 20 yeah i might end up eating a few in a day but i think it's also okay to go ahead and put the pine cones and stuff up uh but tomorrow i'm going to be interested in making money because i don't really like days where i don't make money they don't make me feel good so i bet i end up doing some fishing tomorrow all right finally some I actually was able to finally forage enough to plus one axe proficiency won't take quite as long to cut down trees. Uh, so that's good. All right. What have we got? Thursday. Thursday is living off the land. The bookseller is in town today. Interesting. Uh, woes from crows. Sounds like you need a scarecrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do need to craft a scarecrow for a for a recipe. And it looks like I have enough to do that. So I'm going to take those things out of the chest. I think that's okay to I think that's okay to empty out some of our wood uh, go ahead make a scarecrow excellent I think that yes let's see done 100 bucks 100 bucks before we even start fishing so let's put all that away and yeah put up the scarecrow so that it keeps our crops from getting eaten Wow I the ground is uh, the ground is looking pretty pretty not hoed uh looking a little little frail actually i lost my favorite axe if you find it please return asap uh there's 250 g in it forever finds thing i think i know exactly where that is actually so as soon as we get water we can uh we can go find that it's hanging out somewhere down in the down where i go foraging for spring onions is it not i believe that's where it is i feel like it's down somewhere around Les Suage. Are we kind of in the neighborhood? It's pretty far down the way, if I recall. Somewhere off in, like, one of these corners. There it is, right there. Found the lost axe. Better return it to Robin. First order of business. What if I return it to someone else? What if I decide to give it to Haley, huh? You probably wouldn't appreciate it, to be honest. I think it's so funny that I'm romancing Haley. She doesn't appreciate anything. And yet here I am, like, falling all over myself to find daffodils for her. Yo, some cookies. That's free food. Don't mind if I do. Actually, the shop should be open, so let's see if there's anything good to buy from here. Okay, here's the other backpack. 36 slots, but that's going to be 10,000. That's going to be... That's going to be a hot second yet before I can grab that. But is there anything good? Potatoes. So I can make hash browns, maybe some potato seeds would be good to harvest in that parsnip slot. Um, let's go ahead. Yeah, let's grab more parsnips so that maybe I can have a chance of 
getting gold ones and then let's buy some potato seeds as well i'm gonna go ahead and devote some more how much do those they take six days to mature so yeah we'll get some before yeah we can get some before spring is up uh cauliflower is the one that takes a really long time though okay so up the way oh hey the bookseller i forgot that they said the bookseller was in town that must be a thing so the bookseller is uh look at that right behind the sign boom a gift for milady uh i i kind of feel inclined to hang on to it until i get another one because well maybe i can give it to her before i flower dance with her but her birthday is coming up so i kind of want to hang on to it because i think that's going to be the biggest boost i can get so where is this bookseller uh don't want to get too sidetracked there uh anything behind here oh hey this is a this is a spot we probably need to clear out oh hey very nice very nice anything up the hill oh hey the bookseller okay look at that okay okay now we're finally some luck is finally starting to turn our way how what have i given Haley this week i have given her a gift this week i think it makes an exception for birthdays let me check on that real quick okay i know the googs are kind of trash these days but they say you can give someone a gift on their birthday even if you've given them two things in a week so we're gonna do it up but also i'm interested in seeing the bookseller is a thing that's kind of new to me and it is way out of my league price wise holy cats um i would like that fishing book though read to gain some fishing experience the faster i can gain experience the better can i get in your balloon wow bookseller seems like a pretty boring guy won't even let me ride in his balloon so yeah i can grab books for experience they also make good gifts for people on occasion uh that fishing book is the main one i'm interested in but let's see dig around in clint's trash can clint what are you doing in there actually i probably need to give one of those those daffodils to the bundle so ooh, well obviously we want to give Haley the gold star daffodil on her birthday so yeah if i can somehow luck into finding a third one i think this is the more important thing to complete so just to kind of get this road going some spring seeds an assortment of wild spring seeds and they'll grow i believe foraging things uh but let's see construction uh ooh, yeah i also got to bring okay hardwood i'll have to upgrade my axe to get that but that's a pretty simple one summer foraging and then exotic foraging you know stuff you get around the farm stuff you get from your your uh when you get a mushroom cave or you can have bats in your cave i think but here we go yes we have actually man oh hey and another one's open once you get one going more open up okay we can open up the aquarium some others are opening now so what do we need to keep in mind for our but so the artisan bundle uh growing things around the farm getting saplings growing things on trees i think the i think the lady was actually so oh spring crops here we go uh there's no particular star attached to those things green bean um i might need to see about that i have not been really up on the bean growing but if i can parsnips i can still get in a few there's my thing right there potato how long is a bean starter gonna take i think i've got enough time i think i've got enough time to grow some beans actually so all right now it's kind of like race against the clock so i have to locate get some bean starter going how long do they take to mature surely not the entire rest of spring uh it takes 10 days to mature but keeps producing after that so yeah let's go ahead and grab maybe five of those all right so grows on a trellis do i have to water it i don't know yes no maybe so but i do have some harvesting to do so let's go ahead and get that stuff growing and i should have some handy dandy uh fertilizer also to help this stuff look extra good but i think 
I think there is like a I think there is like a gold star crop. I seem to recall that there is. Like you have to get a gold star thing from each season, right? So it is good to grow some gold star parsnips, maybe, hopefully, if my farming is good enough. Yeah, but we have some actual like for real, real, not for play play work to do now. So let me go in the house, grab my fertilizer out of my chest here i think we've got enough to make some good things happen uh then let's see okay so first we want to fertilize let's put the cookies aside for now cookies are good cookies are great cookies are grand cookies are wonderful but there's a time and a place for the snacks right 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 so yeah we have a lot of work to be doing here all right, everything's watered and just in time for me to hopefully run to Robin's house and get a free 250 gold uh, because I totally forgot about that. I got sidetracked because I found daffodils. Uh, that makes me sound like a child. I got soundtracked. Soundtracked. Oh my gosh. Yeah, might be an early bedtime for this farmer tonight. But hey, hey Abs, how's it going? No time to talk really. I got, I got distracted by the prospect of books and flowers and all kinds of things and i need to get to robin before it's too late i gotta make some kind of money today or today is going to be considered quite the bust uh i'm not i'm not exactly a min maxer or anything but uh where is she robin robin where the frick are you hanging out at the bar maybe she's hanging out with demetrius outside or something uh how's farming going business going robin where the frig are you well i guess the best thing to do is just wait outside her house and wait for her to come home oh there she is huh that didn't take long at all so there we go <laughs> what robin be careful out there holy yikes maybe maybe you should hang on to your money for a future hospital bill or something good grief hey there wild horseradish um i think i think uh linus likes stuff like that why don't i just you know what linus deserves something nice every now and then why don't i give you this there you go have a good day linus you deserve it you're a you're a pal all right so let's move on i guess head back home i still have that yes i still have that gold star daffodil that's being saved for a certain lucky little lady's birthday but oh is that is that a hoable bit is that like a worm thing carrot seeds plant in the spring takes three days to grow and i've got a couple of them here uh sure what's up doc why not sure i'll take carrots not a dang thing wrong with that. Go ahead and fill up Kitty's nighttime water. Because that's when the kitty gets to drink, apparently. And yeah, let's see what I can do. I like the idea of having the carrot seeds. Who knows when you might need a carrot, but... Uh, drop this in, drop this, drop this. Uh, spring seeds. Yeah, I want those forageables. That is going to be very handy to me, actually. So I think I may plant those. Looks like, <laughs> oh shoot, looks like a significant amount of my day is going to get devoted to watering things, which, you know, life of a farmer, I guess. But I was hoping for things to be a little bit easier. But you know what? Say la vie. That is the farmer's life. Isn't that right, kitty? Let's go to bed. Call it a day. And I'll see you guys next time. Did anything special happen overnight? It did not. I mean, I got some money from foraging, but that's about it. Not a whole lot. Though I'm not even really sure what we need to work up right to right now, other than maybe some, maybe asking Robin about certain buildings. I don't know. I don't know. The next, the next few days are pretty open. Um, all I see in my future is a very happy birthday for a certain lucky lady. See you guys next time.